Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We have got a treat for you today. Today you are coming along to go catch an 11 pound bass. This fish went 11.72. Was caught by one of my clients last spring. Now normally we don't mix the guide service with Tactical Bassin. We keep them very separate. Uh, Tactical was never designed to drum up business for the guide service. This is something Tim and I do to give back to the fishing community, so we keep them very separate. But this was such a neat catch, and there's so much that you could learn from it that we wanted to share it with you. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to run that catch footage. I'm going to let you guys watch it completely. Then we're going to circle back around, and I'm going to walk you through the things that you can learn from this catch to become a better angler and what so that when your opportunity comes up and you get a big bite that you capitalize and you put that fish in the boat without anything more let's watch this giant bass fall for a swim bait Go, 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 as hard as you can pull, as hard as you can pull. Holy cow, Hanson, I think you did it. <laughs> I think you did it. Oh my god. That was perfect just like you said. I just pulled, I felt her, and swung up. Dude, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> oh Holy cow. That thing is... Absolutely giant. giant. Let's show this to the camera. Yeah. Holy cow. Chris just stuck a giant Clear Lake bass. Oh my god. Congratulations, man. Dude, are we going? Okay, video's on. What do you got to say, Chris? Unbelievable. We did it. <laughs> wow. Show me that mouth. Holy cow, you can drive a bus through that. Look at the size of that monster. Find out where we're at. Oh my god, that's so... Eleven seventy-two. Beat your personal bass by two pounds. You just go in two pounds. I kind of one pound my way up. You just skip. How awesome is that fish? That is a true Clear Lake giant bass. Now here is my immediate takeaway. You probably noticed too. Did you notice how quick that fight actually took place? Well, I did. From the time Chris sets the hook on that fish to the time that fish hits the net, six seconds. Six seconds. And that's important. Now let me give you the actual scenario behind this. That was a bed fish. This is the Hanson brothers, Chris and Mike. And I've been very blessed to fish with Chris and Mike for a handful of years now. They come up to Clear Lake every year. Fantastic fishermen and their personal bests have slowly been ticking up every single year. These guys catch big ones when they come to Clear Lake. Now this particular fish, like I said, she was on a bed and we could see her. So Chris knew when she bit and he knew to set the hook hard and to get that fish in the boat. Now I often joke that there are people that like to fight fish and people that actually want to get to take a photo with that fish. Because when you're throwing a bigger bait, whether that's a bluegill swim bait or a big trout swim bait or a really heavy jig or something like that. Anything that's heavy, especially if it's out in front of the fish, if you fight that fish, most of the time you will lose. The bigger the swim bait, if it's a giant swim bait, if you fight the fish, you will lose. 100% of swim bait fish will come off given enough time. There's just too much weight out in front of the fish being shaken and not enough hook holding it in place. So if your goal is to land a monster fish, you have to be quick about it. 
Did you notice the hook placement when we actually got that fish in the boat? You see that mat lures dangle in there? Hooks are right in the bottom lip. The entire bait was out front. If he had hooked that fish on a lighter weight rod, you know, a seven foot medium heavy, and then she'd taken a bunch of drag and she was able to come up and shake, nine times out of 10, that fish is gone. But because we had seen the size of the fish and we knew what we were in for, he had it on the right gear, he had it on heavy tackle, and he knew the job was to drag that fish as fast as he could to the boat. Get it in the boat, do not fight with it, do not let it pull. Do everything you can to move that fish from where she bites to the net as quickly as possible. And he pulled it off in six seconds. When I hear people talk about fighting big fish for a minute or two minutes or three minutes or four minutes, it's just a recipe for disaster. Now, if you hook them on a drop shot rod on four pound line, obviously you're gonna fight that fish forever. You know, Tim had a big catfish on recently. He fought it for over an hour but that's a different scenario. One, you're on light line, and two, there's not a bunch of weight there for those fish to throw it. So when we teach about swim bait fishing, and we tell you to lock your drag down and horse that fish, pull as hard as you can, don't let them turn their head, don't let them shake, now you guys understand what we're talking about. This is not about a slow fight where this fish runs you out in open water and tires out. It's about getting that fish in the net. If you want to throw giant baits and you want to consistently get to take pictures with the fish that you hook, you've got to get it done fast. I hope that helps you guys. This was an amazing catch. Chris, congratulations again on just an awesome, awesome Clear Lake Bass. So proud of you, so happy for you. Of course, we got a clean release on that fish. She went right back to work. Such a beautiful example of what these lakes can produce, but guys, Take the catch and then take what you see happening with that catch, apply it to your fishing, and when your fish of a lifetime finally takes a shot, the odds of you getting that fish in the boat will skyrocket. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon.